race got started and stopped, as you know, because of the weather. The drivers finished about 20 laps on Sunday, and then they finally said, you know what? Yeah. This is not good. Fox City Vice Ryan Elijah, he is there at the track this morning talking with Speedway President Chip Weil. And I know Chip had to be disappointed oh. yesterday. That was a bummer. Yeah, he was. It was mixed because things went so well with the president. There's so much planning involved, but obviously you can't control the weather. And that's what we found out yesterday. Daytona, Chip, come on in. This is Chip Wall, of course, the Speedway president. So a long day. Let's start with the president. I mean, you got a unique chance not only to be with the president, but for three hours taking him around. What was that experience like? Oh, he had a great time. I think he was really impressed with our facility and the event. You know, until you're here live, it's hard to describe what the atmosphere is going to be like. So uh, he ended up wanting to stay for the start of the race, which was pretty neat. That means he was at least enjoying himself and to see the beast on the on the racetrack leading the field was something people will never forget. That's pretty cool. When I walked through and I've been to 14 Daytona 500s, it, it just felt different. There was more security. There was a different buzz. Are you pleased when you look back? I mean, we'll talk about the weather in a second. How well things went when Secret Service and all that security was involved and it went off very well. Yeah, no question. I think the coordination with our team and Secret Service and the White House was, was really, really uh, worked really well. So, you know, when you when you plan 365 days for an event and then a week before the you get news that the president's coming. Obviously, it's a wrinkle, but I thought our team did a nice job adapting, and we'll, uh, I think it, overall yesterday was a great day. Yeah, we've got 40 race teams that thought they'd be on the road today. Now they're here. You thought you'd have a different day. We were supposed to be at the champion's breakfast. How do you take such a big event and now move it to Monday? Well, it still is our sport's biggest event. You know, it's going to be under the lights tonight, which will be exciting for the fans, and we, we'll still expect uh, thousands and thousands of race fans here to watch the Daytona 500. We still will give the, the Harley J. Earl Trophy to the the winner tonight in Gatorade Victory Lane. So, you know, it's still a, a great way to kick off the season. We'll just do it on Monday night rather than Sunday afternoon. Yeah, and whoever wins this race, they're not going to remember it finished on a Monday. They're going to know they're the Daytona 500 champ. I think for fans that come in today, they're one going to see less security than yesterday because Secret Service is gone, but anything else they need to know? I know the gates open at 1 o'clock today. Yeah, gates open at 1, race kicks off at 4. There's still plenty to do while, while, while you're here, so just uh, come out and enjoy a Monday at the yeah. racetrack. Well, Chip, it's great to take some time with you. I know a lot of plans. I know you had a very busy day yesterday to impress the president, so thank you. Well, thank you so much for all your support. All right, that is Chip. Of course, they have a long day today getting ready, but we're moving forward. At 11 o'clock, the gates open in terms of parking. 1 o'clock, you'll be in here, and this will be a busy place right behind us. Danielle and Amy looking forward to another finish. we got 455 miles to go. I know, and Ryan, just look, uh, just look right down that street because in, in exactly an hour, we got a rocket that's launch, good, too, so yeah, a crazy day. <laughs> yeah, he'll be able oh, Bye, Ryan. Bye, Ryan. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> all right, be sure to stay with Good Day Orlando for all your Daytona 500 coverage. You can watch the rest of the 500 today. Again, as Ryan mentioned, 4 o'clock right here on Fox. And then stay tuned because our sports team will have full race highlights on Fox 35 News at 10 and in the Sports Zone at 11. In less than one hour.